gotta be something missing. I'm just gonna... Oh, maybe I was supposed to fix that. Ah, oh, crap. I think I know what I was supposed to do. I'm gonna search this area here while I'm... Stop, 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 stop there! Ooh. Organs? No. <laughs> Can't use spanner on organs. Damn it. Okay, so the only thing I can think of is that I go down here and, uh... Oh. No! 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 Oh! <sighs> Trying to get out of Magnemite. An electric Pokemon. Electric Steel. A Pokemon that would have helped you immensely in the big gap you have. <laughs> but at least I have loved it. <laughs> ah! This bit's not broken? Ah, oh, man, what do I do? Wait, whoa, hold on a second. Pokemon dispenser might be close to the corporation. Whack it with the spanner. Yes! I did it. I whacked it. I'm hiding. Elevator? Ah, oh, shit. I have no idea what to do. You know what the worst part is? Starting to realize Love Disc is the rare one, and Magnemite's the common. So it's almost like the game went out of its way to go, Hey, Ryan! I hate you! Thanks, game! Thanks! My self-esteem has skyrocketed. Are you freaking kidding me? You mean to tell me I just didn't click on this stupid piece of machinery in the right area? This part is clearly broken. A nut has come loose. Use the spanner. Seriously, I... I don't know if this is my fault or if this is the game's fault because it did tell me it's not broken here. I just thought it meant not this machine. Not the area. That is... Oh boy, I did it! I got the stupid piece of garbage to work. Now I have to find a way out of here. Oh, isn't that just wonderful? It literally took me a half an hour. Just because I wasn't clicking on the right spot. Why? Why even have the spot? Why can't it be the whole darn thing? Oh, man. Oh, God. Let me guess, you're a bad guy and you want to fight me? Oh, thanks for fixing the engine. I came down here to look for the engine. Near. Oh, gotcha. But I couldn't find him. I haven't seen anyone about lately. Listen, buddy. I just don't care. I really, honestly, have zero cares right now. I want out of here, and that's it. I just want to leave. I don't care. I don't care about your stupid Magnemite co collection or love discs that float around. I don't give a damn about your stupid spanner or your damn Pokeball machine or this whole entire submarine thing. It can go crash into a wall for all I care. As a token of my thanks, I'll drop you off at Route 110. Come with me! Where in the frick am I? Usher's voice echoes down from beneath the waves. Sorry, Talpor is a little jumpy. I'll see you around sometime. The submarine is moving away. <gasps> Whoopee! Oh, no, 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 no! I'm not getting another water Pokemon. S screw you! Get out of the water. Get out of the water. Get out of the water. Is that Porygon 2? Can I catch this Porygon 2? I don't know. 
I would totally like to catch a Porygon too. This Porygon is clearly lost. Better ha better leave it here as it probably belongs to someone in Slateport. <gasps> well, aren't you just a humanitarian? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am back and I'm happy as a box of fluffy ducks. It's been a day. And uh, everything that happened can go fuck itself. I am in a good mood. Why? Because I'm drinking some fantastic lemon lime soda because we're cheap and we don't buy 7-Up. Go play Pokemon. Can catch a Pokemon in there. Excited about that. Excited about things that are going to happen in a video game. And... Ziggum Wiggums. That's the wrong button, Ryan. Way to make you look like a professional. I swear to goodness, game. I'm just saying. If somehow... If some bizarre way a space fish flies from the orbit and hits me on the head, I will be the most angry man in the world. I better not get a water Pokemon. I don't know how it's physically possible, but I wouldn't put it past this game. Oh, yeah, the repel. <laughs> and that's what happens when you save it through save states. Geodude! Hell yeah, Geodude! All right, I am all about that. Boop. Okay, Ziggums, <laughs> don't don't make me poop my pants like that. Ryan wants a new pair of rocks. Yosha. The longer a Geodude lives, the more it edges are chipped and worn away, making it more rounded in appearance. Like a, like a rock? Well, well, wait, hold on a second. How does that work towards its arms? Wouldn't that make him have little stubby fists? However, this Pokemon's heart remains hard, cragged, and rough always. <laughs> Literally or figuratively? Dug him. <laughs> Because I was originally going to call him Doug, and then I realized that's not good enough. So he came out Doug him. Hello? I'm very satisfied with my my hunger level. So, ooh, that, that makes me want to go over there. Oh, but Ryan, hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second. Think about this first. There is a small chance that there might be a Pokemon given to you in this town. And you're not gonna ruin it by surfing around like a nincompoop. Now go frickin' explore the village first. Well, we got the market. I th think this place is gonna be safe? Oh man, I can't even frickin' Larry! Oh, what did I just buy? Oh, I what am I- Why did I buy a zombie liver? Does that always do zombie liver? Hold on, now I'm curious, because I bought that. Is this just like a joke thing? Lemonade. Keeping this, keeping this, everyone. Because you never know if that guy who's thirsty wants lemonade. <laughs> I'm really holding out. There's an item back there. It's probably a rare item. Like, the lucky egg. It's just everyone dead. At least they have the common courtesy to give me Krillin's horn. Sad to hear Krillin pass away. Hey, everyone's not dead. Even though last time I thought this, everyone was still dead. Good bodyguards, everyone. Let's have the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts protect us from chefs. The chef's like, I won't eat you. Well, actually, now I think about it, I guess Girl Scout cookies would save the day from man-eating chefs. Good job, girl. The survivors are clustered here in the market because these monster chefs can't stand food. What? Wait, what? What kind of... What? Now I'm confused. So the Pokemon guys who are eating people can't eat food? Bullshit. Bullshit, Mr. Hunger Man. I don't remember. The smell of our supplies keep them at bay. Then I was right, everyone. Girl Scout cookies save the day. Who knew? This uniform? It's a Hoenn army, really? It's an army uniform? Is that what that is? Not Boy Scout cookies? I'm a soldier, you see. Yeah, I bet you are. I bet you are. I bet all army men wear their green pajamas. Boy, starting to think I really hope that that's not really a thing. <laughs> that 
I get a message from some foreign, um, like, army man who's like, What do you mean? You got a problem with that? I would, first off, I wouldn't be, like, I'd feel bad. I really would. And, listen, if he was determined enough to fly from his country to my country to kick my ass, then fair game. What? No, no, I'm not stealing from the supplies. What do you mean? That's what I was trying to do. Can you, can I steal? Well, freaking help a brother out. I'm saving the world. God dang. People nowadays, even greedy when stealing. The food is running out. I'm so hungry. You know, there's like super potions. There's a vending machine out there. Can't someone have the balls to go get some lemonade and delicious zombie livers? I need a powerful Pokemon so I can get out of the city. If you have a face leech, would you like to trade it? I'd give you a Munchlax in exchange. After all, it's useless. Y yep. Uh, sorry. Sorry, I have always had these moments when someone asks me such a stupid question that my brain just starts malfunctioning and a little fire happens. I have to let the fire come out of my earlobes. Um, no. First off, I don't know where I'm going to find a face leech. If it's water type, you can have it. Listen, if it... I'm saying it right now. If I somehow get a face leech and it's water type, I will trade for Munchlax because Snorlaxes are awesome. Please rate your Pokemon's nickname. Sure. Which Pokemon's nickname shall I divide? Ziggums. Hmm, Ziggums, is it? That's quite a fine name you bestowed it. But what say you if I were to suggest a better name? Go fuck yourself. But, if you're implying that you will change the name of one Gyarados. Oh. Oh. Yeah! I get to change the name of Gyarados. Awesome. I can finally call him what I want to call him. How do you spell demon? <laughs> I always end up spelling Damon. Hold on. Look at this shit up. Hopefully my computer doesn't get possessed by demons. Yep, just looked up. There's no A in demon. I... I... <laughs> Denim, sure. Sure. Why not? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, his name's Denim. Wine gums? I, I know what a Kinder Egg is, so I'm guessing this is all just English candies, I think. Because White Rabbits and Star Mix, White Gums, they all sound like something, like, uh, some sort of candy in England. Hey! You evil in here? Is that the what's it called? Hey! Maybe. I don't know. Is there any point to being here? None whatsoever, huh? You know, I'd like to save these people from a horrible fate of starving to death and all, but it's kind of hard when they're not actually here. Okay. Well, I'm glad I could run away from that. <laughs> Had a little scare there, that's all. How about we get out of the water? Let's get out of the water. Oh, no. All right, team, move out. Yes, sir. What was that sound? What was that? Sounded like a military band. S sorry, my brain just kind of had a stupid moment, and I literally thought a musical band. But that theme song was decadently evil and terribly played. It couldn't be a sweet military band. Perhaps I ought to investigate. No, no, you shouldn't. I think what you should do. It's instead just realize that this is a Pokemon Center and get excited. First off, that's a, that's first and foremost. Reduct, reduce. I have absolutely no idea. Don't worry, buddy. I'll help you. But I'm gonna get these berries first. Oh, these are just to die for. <laughs> oh man, delicious. Ooh, what are these berries? They're Lapa berries. You want some? Ah! He'll be okay. He just needs a little lap of berry in his diet. I hear it helps with your blood pressure. Ooh, more cherry berries. Maybe I should plant some. You know, if I was 
doing a real zombie invasion, I would plant those those uh, berries. I wonder if there's anything hidden over here. Nope. Well, there we going. <laughs> so I I know that this is usually the part of the video where it ends and you see a Game Boy Color play in the next episode. But oh boy, do I got some surprises for you. You see, last time I did this, I had a passionate video of me making love with Raiko. Well, guess what? It happened again. But this time, oh boy. Ooh, ooh. Internet's a weird place, folks. So, to explain, you know that weird picture of a uh, hate disc? Well... I wanted to find just a love disc and go blub 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 and he's like, oh that son of a bitch. Ooh. Was not ready. Was not ready. I didn't I didn't know there was a mm hmm A really weird part of the uh, well, you know what? You know what? Well, let's just sit down and enjoy the gems that I have found. Well, let's start with number one. I have to say, number one gets an award, award for the most kissable lips. Look at that guy, am I right? <laughs> what? Why? What? What's Whoa! Whoa! Wow. First off, amazing, amazing abs. 10 out of 10. Oh, mm, I, mm, you know what? Instead of asking why the creator made this, I'm just gonna go on to, uh, picture number two! Have you ever wondered to yourself, well, you know how Pokemon have intergender sex that is so passionate in the breeding center that's just like, BAM! 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 What if a love disc put its little weird thingy lips on a champ? BAM! Look at that! Who made them Speedos? I want to know who tailored those Speedos, folks. I want to know the truth behind this, this, this. I don't even know what to say. It's not even, it's not even, a, it's not even a love disc anymore. But I'll tell you, I'll tell you. He didn't forget about leg day, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Half his body looks like a tumor that's Patrick Starr. Now I know you must be saying, wow, Ryan. You can't top that. That was just amazing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, number three. Have you ever thought to yourself, boy, I sure love professional wrestling. It sure is a, a fun, fun time on the telly that I get to see dudes and speedos wrestle around. Well, you probably ask yourself, man, you know what my favorite wrestler is? Shawn Michaels. Oh, oh. Oh, it's- oh, I can't even look at it. Oh! 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 Whoa! He's got heart nipples! <coughs> wow. You know the whole fig leaf on uh, old David? He had it wrong. He could have had a, a fine heart on his crotch, but he missed out. Also, 10 out of 10 for them locks. Why is there a Shawn Michaels love disc? It really is. Folks, it's got the pose. It's got the hair. Can can I meet the artist? Can I meet the artist of all these? Can I just sit down and go, well, well, Jimmy Slimy Tits. That's, uh, don't make fun of his name. That's what his, what his family heritage is. Why did you create a muscular love disc? The uh, the audio is uh, very unhearable uh, after that. It's just a constant... <laughs> That's him having sexual activities by himself. But it gets better! You think it's over? You think three muscular, fine specimens were good enough? No, 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 absolutely not. Not even close. Don't even try to brace yourself for this bad boy. Mm -mm. Weeping bell toilet. Wow! 
Wow! Whoa! That, I, there are so many things I want to comment on this. And you probably ask yourself, Ryan, you probably could find this in English, but that just takes away half the magic of this. This! Wow! Why? I typed in love disc, folks. Love disc. I got Weeping Bell Toilet. In Spanish. Lick a tongue toilet paper. I'm a night flusher. Um, I, Love Disc is doing actually the least amount of work out of all this. It's just holding the toilet seat up. That's his job. He's got a button to squirt water in your asshole. I, I know those buttons. I've seen them. Japan's a weird place. Why is Lick a tongue the toilet paper? Why is we... You know what, folks? I think, I think we can learn something from this. Never sit on a toilet that's looking at your butthole. Because if you shit out a leaf stone, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna eat you. Don't say the last word, Ryan! Out. <laughs> this has been another installment of Ryan trying to find pictures for your entertainment and finding horrific abominations such as muscular love discs and weeping bell toilet. Ryan, uh, the hobo, signing out. D just, just go, just go to the Game Boy ride. He's staring into my soul.